Hypothetically, the situation you're describing would be involuntary manslaughter. That such a person would be in a lot of trouble. Especially if that person were closing a merger with a large public bank where any publicity or arrest could delay or derail the transaction. But that's only if there was some evidence that could link him to the crime. Fingerprints, DNA. Very hard to collect after an explosion. The real world's different from television. What about cell phone records? Did this person make any calls from the area? Not from the cell phone, no. Then they won't be able to place him there. What would you advise such a person to do? To confess immediately. Failing which? To put as much distance between himself and the event as possible, if possible. But let me tell you something. And I'm speaking to you as a friend now. There's about 50 things that person wouldn't have thought of. And the more time that passes, the more lies that are told, the worse it gets for him. Robert. They're going to come to you. I know. An accident is not the worst trouble. If we talk to them now, we can probably work it out. Are you telling me what happens with the standard deal? does not close. I got to tell my investors about our real losses. Nothing good. What did you say about the Justice Department? And depending on what they decide to arrest me on, fraud conviction gets me 20 years. I did. Which <laughs> story really